Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's do the unboxing and have a first look at this new MacBook Air with M1 chip. And you might be uh, seeing that I'm really excited. Uh, yes, I am actually and I simply could not get this one in India. I had actually uh, the Aptronic store, which is sort of the Apple store in India offline. They had promised that they'll give me in first week of December. They never came. I got fed up of them. Uh, then uh, I ordered it from my local computer dealer and he's told me that uh, he'll give me an end of December it did not happen finally I got it I opted for the gray one but today he told me he got stock of this gold one so I just took it and guys this is the base variant of the MacBook Air uh, that comes with 8 gigabytes of uh, RAM this is unified memory and 256 gigabytes there are also actually two more variants if you want up to uh, up that 16 gigabytes of RAM, you have to spend about 20,000 more. This is for almost 93,000, 92,900. Uh, but again, the RAM and the storage upgrades are very expensive. Super Apple tax. RAM uh, upgrade from 8 to 16 will be 20,000 extra. And again, storage is the same thing. Uh, so this is the one. A uh, big thing of this one is that it comes with the new uh, M1 chip by Apple. And that's creating a lot of waves. Uh, I, in fact, I have the older uh, what do you say this is the macbook air which i occasionally use i'm just updating it and i even have the macbook pro 13 inch and even a 15 inch and i find this macbook air sometimes when i do video editing on the move is sluggish with 4k let's see how actually this performs and we'll also compare with the macbook 13 pro later on when i get time and see how well this performs because from the uh, reviews and other videos that i've seen this is uh, in terms of performance supposed to be really good but let's see how it performs in the real world so let's open this up and again it's apple it's too less so you don't need a knife or something you just break this like this and you should be able to actually open it up uh, as of now guys this uh, m1 chip variant is not available on amazon india uh, when it gets listed i will uh, link it and if you're buying from amazon use the link it does help the channel anyways let's open this up and regarding the weight and everything this hasn't changed from the regular macbook air older one it's exactly the same uh, let me just keep this to the side and as you can see guys this is that new gold color and only the macbook air uh, new one is in this gold color i actually wanted the regular gray one but as i've told you i couldn't get it so let's open this up and uh, to be frank guys this does not look like gold <laughs> looks like copper to me agree or not or maybe you say that rose gold but not that traditional gold 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 a little bit too blingy for my taste but what do you think i i actually prefer this uh, regular space uh, gray anyways uh, let's see what do we get uh, you get a usb type c cable at least we get that that's nice and some apple uh, stickers yes we get apple this is also in this uh, same gold color i would call it copper so that we are getting and fortunately we are still getting the charging brick yay so nice to see that we have this and we have the USB Type-C connector even for this. This is supposed to be a PD charger, guys. So let's put this back. Let me just clear the desk and then we'll have a look at this MacBook Air. So guys, uh, here is the MacBook uh, Air and again, uh, it's pretty dense guys i wouldn't say this is the lightest laptop now because i have tested a lot of windows laptops that weigh less than one kilogram so certainly at 1.3 kilograms i wouldn't say this is the lightest laptop out there apple really needs to work on the new design i would say but in terms of build quality again that solid aluminium build quality uh, that uh, you will expect it's the same thing and uh, first let's look at the ports uh, here we have the headphone jack uh, back actually nothing uh, the big deal uh, with this one is that it does not have any fans at all no fans at all on this one so will not make noise even at loads uh, that is that i want to test uh, on this end we just have two usb type c ports we are actually thunderbolt 3 guys but only two ports that's the same case even with the older airs and uh, we have that wedge design slightly thicker here and tapers off uh, uh, this is the same design they didn't change it so let's just open this up we also have this and it actually starts booting automatically and let me bring the old air to give you an idea almost the same same yeah internals are obviously different but if you look at it it's 
almost the same so the same glass trackpad that you are getting uh keyboard this one is supposed to have a better keyboard yes definitely this is that rubbish uh, keyboard the uh, that i call a butterfly keyboard which is totally rubbish in my opinion definitely this has a better keyboard i'll just put this uh, to the sleep and let me just configure this and then we will continue so guys uh, we have set up this uh, macbook air and to give you an idea yes obviously it comes with big sir and to give you an idea if i go to about this mac as you can see it's running on mac os 11.0.1 uh, and this is the new macbook air m1 2020 edition and uh, this comes with the apple uh, m1 chip and we have the base variant that comes with eight gigabytes of uh, uh, ram it's actually unified memory guys uh, the graphic also uses it uh, and uh, if i go to the storage i haven't installed per purposely installed anything as of now so roughly out of that 256 gigabytes you'll roughly get about 216 gigabytes 216.7 gigabytes free to yourself and um, uh, apart from that uh, again uh, I just made a few changes and this is uh, control center one thing was very surprising uh, just go to the security and privacy tab guys and here for some reason the firewall was off so I switched it on and uh, again even for the mouse uh, trackpad I enable the stop to click apart from that I haven't done anything now what I will do is and if, uh, I like the instant on if I just switch it on it just switches on automatically and uh, I like the screen quality on this one actually uh, it's uh, pretty good and it can go very bright uh, let me actually uh, as you can see it's, it can go up to 400 nits i believe uh, which is actually very good because many of the windows laptops uh, hover around some of them actually max out at just 250 nits uh, many do about 300 and only some of the very high end go 400 450 and 500 this goes up to 400 nits what does it mean it means that yes indoor no issues even outdoors it is fairly visible it's not easily visible fairly visible uh, so let me do one thing guys i will uh, actually install some apps now and i want to test how it does in editing i use final cut so face final cut pro it's called fcp now instead of fcpx so i'll just install it and uh, i also have it on my macbook uh, uh, regular macbook air and even the macbook pro 13 so what i'll do is this earlier part of the video in fact i will edit it on this one and i'll place all the files on this external ssd and um, render it in all the uh, different uh, mac computers that i have to see does it make a real difference so let's have a look at there and see uh, and so i just wanted to give you uh, initial uh, impressions uh, about the performance also let's also check the speakers i haven't done that let's just go to youtube and if i search my own channel keyboard is definitely better than the butterfly one let's just use hey this there. i'm natasha Let me. and my specialty is making all your apps this is max come true Hi guys, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, let's do the unboxing and have a first look at this iPad Air. That's the fourth generation or also known as... And definitely I have to say uh, the speakers like all Macs are actually pretty good way better than many of the windows uh, laptops windows laptops i don't know for some reason the speakers are just not loud here it's actually pretty loud so let me just uh, install final cut on this one and let's see how it edits so that i can give you my initial impressions about the same i completely forgot to mention you guys one problem that i had while setting this up is that it simply was not connecting to my wi-fi network it was finding all the wi-fi networks but when i click it was not connecting and this is very strange because we must have used over 120 devices with this Wi-Fi network. Uh, it's a, a Ubiquiti network and did not have any issues. But here, it actually gave me a problem connecting to this network. Manually, I had to set it up and it finally connected. But this is one initial bug that I encountered, which was very, very strange. Just thought that you guys should know that. So guys, uh, now I'm editing the video that we shot earlier on this one, wanted to test it and all the files I'm keeping it on uh, this SSD so that we can just take this project and uh, render it uh, on this 13 inch Pro that I have and even the older Air to see the performance difference. And guys, uh, we are, uh, this is a 4K project and as you can see, we have two timelines. This is the bottom and this is the top and both are in 4K and just notice how fluid it is in editing. It's like butter. 
I didn't expect this because this is the lower end 8 gigabytes of RAM as you can see in Final Cut it's just amazing uh, and this is not even uh, in better performance I'm using the better quality so that means while editing I'm seeing the full 4k resolution here so then also I'm not seeing any frame drop so at least in Final Cut while editing it's a very very smooth experience dare not I say it is almost close to the iMac Pro that I have that cost about four and a half lakhs uh, so very very smooth in editing initial impressions and we have been editing it uh, for like past five minutes and uh, it's just barely warm guys here to touch uh, the other Macs which I edit, uh, if it's two 4K files, they would have got actually hot till now. I uh, th this is getting a little bit warm, but not hot at all. So it's warm to touch because we are pushing it with two 4K files. So initial impressions, guys, and instant on as you can see. You just open it up instantly; it switches on. Initial uh, what do you say impressions while editing, even two 4K files. It's handling it fine. Actually, I didn't. Ex I expected with a single 4K file, it will do the job. But these are two 4K files that I'm doing. Then also, it's actually doing a pretty good job. Uh, so, guys, now have uh, rendered and played around with the. Uh, actually, uh, I'll put it that file and uh, played around with these uh, new computers and also tested with the old ones. So, wanted to give my uh, quick impressions on it. No, this is a review, guys. I have to test it a lot. But uh, I want to test this native app, and I use Final Cut on uh, this one and first let me talk about the results but I also face some compatibility issues and you guys should be aware of that if you're buying this one because this does not run on Intel x86 processor this is basically an ARM chip Apple's own M1 chip and to get the best performance those apps should be actually written uh, and compatible with the M1 chip uh, most of the Apple app applications are compatible but if you use third-party apps there is where the problem happens yes it has Rosetta and it did install Rosetta automatically that's a conversion but even with Rosetta, I wouldn't say it's 100% compatible with some of the third-party apps and plugins. First, let's uh, talk about the rendering results. Uh, I use Final Cut to render the first part of this video on this one. And let me actually uh, talk about the results. Uh, and it was a five minute, the first five minutes and 15 seconds of this video actually was edited on this one. The editing process, as you saw, was very good. Even the two 4K clips that we had, editing was butter smooth, so I liked it. Uh, as good as my big iMac Pro that costs a lot, has 32 gigs of RAM, eight proper cores, Xeon, uh, so that way it was very good uh, but export time for that 5 minute 15 uh, seconds clip was 6 minutes 56 seconds on this uh, MacBook Air M1 uh, which is actually not bad at all it's a 4k clip uh, that if I compare with this MacBook Air this is not the latest MacBook Air guys this was the 2018 edition this uh, actually runs on uh, the core uh, Intel Core i5 it's a dual core and this one the same video clip actually it took 14 minutes 33 seconds so this is significantly faster almost like half the time less than half the time it took uh, but I also have the MacBook uh, Pro as I've told you this is the MacBook Pro 13 inches uh, this is again not the latest model this is the 2016 model I purchased in 2017 late 2016 uh, this also has the Intel Core i5 it's a dual core variant and and this one actually exported that clip in 7 minutes 57 seconds uh, so yeah still actually the M1 chip is faster but guys remember this is a pretty old computer this is just a dual core if it would have been the new uh, proper quad core one it would have been faster I felt I also just for kicks also tested the same video clip on my iMac Pro to get an idea how it performs and the iMac Pro completed that in just three minutes five seconds so yes this is actually pretty fast but I wouldn't say if you have a fast what do you say uh, uh, computer uh, Mac computer uh, this won't be like twice or thrice fast guys that's what I, I'm hearing that's not the case uh, but yeah if it's faster than comparable what do you say uh, MacBooks uh, but this, these results were in Final Cut but if you use some third-party video editing software like uh, Adobe etc which are right now not optimized for the M1 chip the results will be a lot slower and also you will face compatibility issues in fact I face compatibility issues even with Final Cut if you guys know I use this uh, uh, what do you say uh, uh, for, uh, at the footers to add that at the rate geeky Ranji, etc but uh, with this M1 chip I actually could not do it because that's a third-party 
plugin and that simply did not work yes rosetta came and it worked compiled it but when i was trying to use it then the performance of the editing it was sluggish it's just touching one one frame per second making the editing uh, unusable so i had to actually remove that plugin so if you rely on third party plugins and if you're sort of a professional you will have to actually do that even if you use final cut so you have to uh, weigh the pros and cons because the problem right now is that many of the third party plugins are simply not compatible with the m1 chip so again if you are a professional i won't say that uh, right now to go out and jump uh, on this one because you might be relying on some third party plugin that you need for your work and if that is not compatible then you'll have issues for example one of my friends is a professional uh, what do you say photographer and he does a lot of work on photoshop he also got this and he was happy with it photoshop worked in rosetta but he also had to actually use some third party plugins for his regular work and while he was using that it simply used to crash it so again, there are some compatibility issues and you got to be careful with that. So I would say this is a great laptop. Battery life, I would say, is excellent. And also when I was even editing, yes, it slightly got warm, but it simply did not get hot at all. And because it does not have any fans, no noise while editing. So that was a great experience. And initial impressions, guys, looks like the battery life will be also very, very good. But I would say if you have some obscure, what do you say, applications that you need to run, make sure they are natively already ported with the M1 chip. If that's not the case, you might actually fall into compatibility issues, guys. That's my frank opinion. I will test this uh, laptop a lot more. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any specific questions, do let me know. I'll use this laptop as my primary computer for the next week or so. And in the later part, maybe next week or something, I'll try to post its full review. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. And if you guys are still not subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care, guys.